Raphael's on the track. Come on, son. It's your boy Ed Love, and I'm back with another episode of Come On, Son. All right, let's get to it. The New York Jets. New York Jets just cut Tim Tebow. You heard me right. They cut Tim Tebow. Come on, son. The Jets brought Tim Tebow to the team. It made him gain weight in order to run the Wildcat, right? They didn't run the Wildcat offense. He threw about four passes all season, never got a chance to start, started everybody you could think of under the sun in front of Tim Tebow. Now, they just drafted Geno Smith in the second round. First of all, it's a come on, son, to that. How the hell did Geno Smith end up in the second round of the NFL draft, and now they cut poor Tim Tebow? Come on, son. How you going to cut Tim Tebow? And speaking of people that got cut, what's going on with the Los Angeles Lakers out there, folks? The Lakers got swept in four games, and Dwight Howard got the nerve to want a maximum contract? Come on, son. Dwight Howard, you need a maximum contract because allegedly you got about five or six different baby mamas, son. You suck, dog. Let's be real. You seven feet tall, and you couldn't get the layoff. The, the Lakers, excuse me, past the first round of the playoffs against an aging Old ass San Antonio Spurs team? Dwight Howard, come on, son. That would have never happened if Kobe Bryant was there. And Kobe Bryant should have been there. Dan Tony shouldn't have been there. Come on, son, LA Lakers. What the fuck is going on with y'all? Get out of here with that bullshit. And speaking of bullshit, Brandon Jennings from the Milwaukee Bucks. Come on, son. Y'all are going to beat the Heat in six games. And then you turned around and got swept? You got swept, son. Four games and out, and you popped a whole lot of shit, and you couldn't back it up at all. So come on, son, to you. And speaking of people who are swept and trying to sweep them shit under the rug, Kerry Rhodes, NFL's player. Come on, son. You ain't gay, Kerry Rhodes? Come on, son. I met you a few times, Kerry Rhodes. And you and my man, 50 grand, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. From the outside, if you are, if you aren't, I couldn't tell. It ain't none of my business. But anytime you got pictures of you and your so-called assistant looking like this, and anytime your so-called assistant has text messages of you calling each other, your, him calling you baby and you answering and all that. Come on, son, Kerry Rhodes. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Ray J finally released the video for I Hit It First. And yes, the girl in the video looks exactly, and I mean exactly, like Kim Kardashian. I'm not talking about a little bit like Kim Kardashian. I'm not talking like he alluded to the fact that it could have been Kim Kardashian that he was talking about. This girl looks exactly like Kim Kardashian. The reason why I say, come on, son, is because Ray J went all around the place, all over everywhere, talking to everybody, talking about he wasn't talking about Kim Kardashian. So why would you use a girl in a video that looks just like Kim Kardashian? Come on, Ray J. You made money off the sex tape. Now move on. Speaking of people making money off the sex tape, did y'all hear about this Fabra, Farah, Farah, Fabra, Farah, Abrams girl, the teen mom chick who just sold her sex tape for a million dollars? A million dollars. I ain't paying nobody a million dollars for a sex tape. If y'all paying a million dollars for sex tapes, I think it's time for Ed Lover to make his own come on, son, sex tape. Come on, Ed. The fuck out of here with that bullshit. Nobody wants to see me naked having sex. And speaking of people that I like to have sex with, what's going on with Amanda Bynes? Y'all remember Amanda Bynes? She used to be on Nickelodeon and all of that and Disney and she was good. She's out of her fucking mind, y'all. She's completely out of her mind. Everywhere this girl goes, she gets kicked out for smoking weed, for smoking cigarettes, for getting drunk, for doing this, for doing that. Amanda Bynes, get your life together, sweetheart. Come on, send the fuck out of here with that bullshit. And before I get up out of here, I saw this on World Star, and I decided that I wanted to share this with y'all. This is the weirdest, weirdest kid that I have ever seen on World Star. Y'all check this out. Hey. It's Matty here, and um, I'm not getting mu much attention from the ladies, so I thought I'd show you what you're missing and give you a personal overview of what you could be having right now. So this is me on top. Oh, 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 oh. oh. 
I wouldn't have lasted much longer than that, so that's about as long as I've lasted. Um, that's me on, that's me on top. Ooh. This is me on the bottom. So that's, that's me on the bottom. Yeah, so, I hope you all see what you're missing. You know, come and, come and have a bit of these tea like a ha 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 ha. That ain't creepy and scary to y'all? Well, it was creepy and scary to me. This is what I look like on top of you, and this is what I look like on bottom of you, and this is what you be missing, ladies? Rapist. Weirdo. I'm Ed Lover. This is Come On, Son, and I'm out. Rappy Yams on the track. Come on.